Two seconds to go. But will that time hold up? Will Randy Orton be in the contract signing later tonight with John Cena to meet Cena for the title at the Great American Bash? Oh, yeah. Look out, look out, John! Gentlemen, the new number one contender and the man who will face John Cena at SummerSlam for the WWE Championship, Randy Orton! Well, I hope that Orton's happy. Orton's finally got what he wants. The self-centered disrespectful third generation superstar has the chance now to become the most dominant athlete in the entire WWE. Unbelievable. Randy Orton from behind. Typical Orton fashion with the RKO on John Cena. And look at him. Look at that smug look on his face. Here's how John Cena finished off business after Jeff Hardy threw out of Mata with a steel chair. Yeah, and as John Cena was getting his hand raised, as soon as he turns around, right into the RKO from Orton. Look at Orton. That quick. The dynamic of the RKO. And ladies and gentlemen, Randy Orton has destroyed the, the legend of Shawn Michaels. Randy Orton has destroyed the legend of RVD. And tonight, Dusty Rose will John Cena be next at SummerSlam. We are live. This is Monday Night Raw. And welcome to Fayetteville, North Carolina. We are on our way to SummerSlam. I'm Jim Ross at ringside. Joining me this week from ECW Taz, Jerry Lawler still out of action after last week's assault by King Booker. Taz, it's great to see you. Glad that you're with us this week. Hey, Jim, I'm happy to be here on Monday Night Raw. No doubt, let me tell you something right now. We are all on the road to, to SummerSlam right now, baby. Let's get this thing rolling. SummerSlam this Sunday on pay-per-view and the number one contender for the WWE Taz in the ring. Welcome. Randy Orton. Randy Orton has a date with personal destiny, Taz, this Sunday at SummerSlam as he will face John Cena for the WWE title. Take a good look, people. Because this is the last time you're going to see me standing in this ring without the WWE Championship around my waist. Because a few nights ago, two nights ago to be exact, there was a defining moment, a turning point. The beginning of the end. Well, this is back just two days ago. John Cena, the WWE Champion, had been victorious in this contest. Well, I, I, think, I think this right here, Jay, I'm sorry, is what Orton's referring to. Watch this impact. Randy Orton measures and bam! The RKO, Cena face first into the steel chair. That footage was so important for so many reasons. I not only want to see it again, but I want to see it in slow motion and from a few different angles, please. And uh, the number one contender right there, you see, that was in, in regular speed. Yeah. And, I mean, obviously, Randy Orton was intent 
to impair and disable. Oh, John Cena. Nasty, JR. The chair was seen as a head print in the uh, steel chair. That footage, ladies and gentlemen, that footage is going to replace Hogan slamming Andre, Austin 316, the Montreal screw drop, and everything else. That might be the most played video footage in WWE history. That footage is going to be aired the night that I am inducted into the Hall of Fame. That move is going to be what ends the championship reign of John Cena. And I think it's safe to say that John Cena isn't 100%. And I would understand... And I would understand if John Cena couldn't make it to SummerSlam. Rumor has it that he's not even here tonight. But John, if you're here, if you're in this arena, now's your chance to save a ton of embarrassment this Sunday by coming out to this ring right now in forfeiting, in forfeiting your WWE Championship. WWE Championship. Has, is this the, is this the outcome of the main event this Sunday on pay-per-view? I, I, I don't know. It seems to me that John Cena's going to have a tough time retaining this Sunday at SummerSlam. I can't believe this. John Cena in trouble Sunday at SummerSlam.
I spent the entire day in church. Because I am convinced that I witnessed a miracle. John Cena walking out of SummerSlam, still the WWE Champion. Now, as I was on my knees, I had an epiphany. I had an epiphany. I had that match won. I should be WWE Champion. But the guy who needs to be on his knees praying is John Cena, not me. John Cena needs to thank God that he survived last night. John Cena needs to thank God that he walked out of SummerSlam the WWE Champion. John Cena needs to thank God that I didn't end his career like I've done to all the others. Because next time, John Cena won't be so lucky. And you can be rest assured there will be a next time because I am demanding a rematch for the WWE title. So John Cena, You got two choices. One, you come out here right now and accept my challenge. Or two. He needs to be punished. And you know he will. What the hell's the meaning of this? Vince, you got the power. You got the power to overrule Regal. Give me a rematch with John Cena. Give it to me. I want a rematch with John Cena. I demand a rematch with John Cena. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Come on. Now hang on a second. You're an extraordinary athlete. You had a great talent. But right now, you don't deserve another title shot. You really don't. Not until you can show me. You show me you deserve another title shot. Show me you really, really down deep want that title shot. Show me, Randy. But until then, no. Orton here's another emphatic no. His, come on! Hey! Wait a minute! I did it, Randy Orton! Randy Orton and King Booker now double teaming John Cena! Orton has been refused a rematch with Cena all night long. First from the general manager, then from the chairman. And look at this. This is just a heinous double team. King Booker and Randy Orton. Oh, look out here. Oh, gosh. Man, what a sick, inverted butt breaker by Randy Orton. Well, being told no does not sit well with the legend killer, and he is making that known to the world right now. This night started with Orton literally whining about SummerSlam. And Watch King out. Oh, King Booker. King Booker hitting a prone, vulnerable John Cena with a huge, Thunderous scissors kick. Oh, you know what, JR? This is. Look at this. King Booker basically turning John Cena over 
to Randy Orton, and you know what Randy Orton has in mind. Randy Orton wants to kick on, Cena's now. brains out. Randy Orton. Get the referees. Come on, Randy. Don't let this happen. Oh, yeah, come on. John Cena's defenseless here, and Orton is, a, is like a caged animal. Look at Orton. You can almost see them. He's like a viper, JR. I don't think he's thinking RKO. I think he wants to kick a concussion into the head of John Cena. Griffey, don't let him do this. Randy Orton might be thinking if I can't get a time opportunity, my God, no one can. And Orton measuring John Cena. This, this, this is the moment Orton has been waiting for, JR. A legend killer. Stop me, Rip. Stop me. Don't do it. Don't. My God, Randy Orton's got a conscious act on. Randy Orton's finally found some sanity or clarity in this whole. Why do you stop? Hey, hey. hey wait. Thank you, Mr. Regal. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate the day off. However, I wish I was there to confront the people that think that what I did last week was sick. But you know what? Call me sick. Call me deranged. Call me what you want. But John Cena? John Cena did this to himself. John Cena's father got his face kicked off because of John Cena. His father's blood is on his hands. And just to think, Cena could have prevented all of this from happening if last week he would have accepted a rematch with me for the WWE title. Well, I wonder, John Cena, do you want that rematch now? I have a feeling you do. I think we all do, Randy. That's why I'm here tonight to announce that at Unforgiven, it will indeed be John Cena versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. Thank you, Mr. Regal. I definitely deserve this opportunity. And one more thing for John Cena. John, I hope your father never forgives you for what you let happen last week. Sunday in your hometown of Memphis. Hey! Control himself when he faces that man? I don't think it's possible. I think when John Cena gets within arm's reach of Randy Orton, he's gonna take out all of that pent-up aggression, all of that anger. He's gonna try to rip Randy Orton limb from limb. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, William Regal is at home. I'm assuming watching Raw tonight, still convalescing after the feeding he took last week. The victim, but feeding Raw General Manager William Regal like a government mule. All thanks to the remorseless Randy Orton. And let's not forget, King, Randy Orton, the youngest man in WWE history to ever become champion, has the opportunity again in six days to make history.
Seems awful confident in that ring right now. That's probably because of all the security outside to keep John Cena out of the arena. John Cena. You're probably at home watching right now. For all we know, you're with your father sitting on the couch and you're watching Raw right now. But the lights are dimmed down, the volumes turned way down because your father's head is throbbing. But I want you to hear loud and clear what I say next, so please on your TV while you're at home with your dad sitting on the couch, turn up that volume just a little bit, John, because I got something important to say. This Sunday at Unforgiven, it will be the one year anniversary in which you became WWE Champion. And you became WWE Champion by beating the biggest, the baddest, and in some case, the best wrestlers that this industry has ever seen. You also became the champ, John, because you had a clear head, you were focused, you set a goal, and you reached that goal. But, back then, John, it wasn't personal. It's a bit different now, isn't it, John? When I kicked your father in the face, when I kicked your father in the face, I not only injured his head, but I got into your head, John. And now I guarantee you're gonna make a mistake. You're gonna slip up, and I'm gonna be there to capitalize on that mistake, on that slip up, John. And I'm gonna become the next, the new WWE Champion. Now, John, I'm not a mean guy. That, that's not why I kicked your dad in the face. I did it to get in your head. We got a commotion. Hey, it's John Cena. Security, do your arena. job. Where the hell is do it? your job. Cena you want to be angry, John. Cena coming for the ring. He's in the ring. He's in the ring. John Cena's in the ring. Cena's in the ring. Cena Orton. John Cena doesn't give a damn about. Big Bard, Big Man. Cena may not even care about his title. I'm way John Cena made his way into the arena through security. And he's after Randy Orton. Orson, Orton, look out. Cena trying to break through this, this line of, this human chain of security. The referee, everyone has tried to do everything they could to get Cena a loose from those ropes. There's no way to, no way to do it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you just joined us, here's how this all came about. Last night at Unforgiven, John Cena's father was like once again at ringside. And at the end of the night, it was John Cena's father, with John holding Orton in the STFU, kicking Randy Orton in the head. Earlier today, John McCoach was strongly considered stripping John Cena of the WWE title. But Coachman had a meeting with Cena's father. They worked out a deal. John Cena would remain WWE champion if Mr. Cena would step in the ring with the legend killer. What? And uh, I mean, you know, I just can't say enough about that decision that Mr. Cena made. Sure, he was trying to protect his son's title, but in the meantime, he may have cost himself severely here. And Mr. Cena, by the way, is not a wrestler. No. That, that Mr. Cena, John Cena, is a WWE champion. John Cena's father is a businessman, a middle-aged businessman. Mr. Mr. Cena probably doing exactly what any father worth his medal hey. would do, and that is to stand up for his child. I don't see how John Cena is going to be able to stand there. Well, he's got no choice. He's handcuffed, but how is he going to be able to stand there and watch what's about to happen to his father? Oh, look. Randy Orton. 
the uh, so fine. So, so, just so remorseless is this viper of a human being. Boy, John Cena's fucking man. Hard knee right to the solar plexus of this man. He does not deserve this treat, this physical abuse. To Mr. Cena. Come right here. Hey. John Cena problem. offered himself right now. He said, Come on out here. Do what you want to to me. Okay. And look at Orton. Randy Orton. Unrelenting. Uncaring. With no conscience. Assaulting a middle aged businessman. The father of the WWE champion. No doubt that Orton's trying to break Mr. Cena's leg. A kick right to the chin. And how does a... Oh. Oh, this... oh, watch his face. Come on. Orton, you gotta have some compassion. Randy Orton's now stumping the arm. Oh, it's John Cena even. I don't know if John Cena's enduring this from an emotional standpoint, and his father is in agonizing pain. Agonizing pain. Get out of his hair, man. Get out of his hair. You can hear Mr. Mr. Cena. He's writhing and screaming in pain. Hey, Cody Rhodes! Cody Rhodes! Cody Rhodes, who tried to get John the Coachman to put him in this match, officially couldn't stand by. Remember, Randy Orton, yeah. Remember what Randy Orton did to the American Dream. Cody Rhodes fell. Oh, come on. Look out here. Oh, ever since you, what you talked about, hey, Cody's been waiting for his moment of revenge, but this is unfortunately not it. The young rookie, Cody Rhodes, went head and shoulders first into the steel ring steps. And now Mr. Cena, John Cena's poor father, has been beaten to a pulp by Randy Orton, the legend killer. And it, John Cena tried to Tried with everything he had to break those that chain on those handcuffs. Now he's trying to. Oh, oh, oh for God's sakes! Oh, for the love of the RKO for the poor, defenseless father. Hey, hey, hey! Cena's got John Cena took the turnbuckle off. John Cena able to to come to his father's aid, but it's too late. This Randy Orton. Well, vile enough to deliver a devastating RKO to John's father and be proud of it. That's how vile he is. I just want to congratulate John Cena 
on being the biggest phony in WWE history. Cena prides himself on never backing down, never quitting. But that's exactly what Cena did at Unforgiven. He knew he couldn't beat me, so he went ahead and got himself disqualified. That's taking the coward's way out. That's the same as giving up. Don't let Cena trick you into thinking he lost it in the heat of battle. He knew exactly what he was doing. Cena was losing the match. He could see his one-year title reign come crashing to an end, so he took the easy way out. Now tell me, what type of champion does that? But Cena, I'll give you credit. You're smart. You took all the focus off screwing me over by having your pathetic father kick me in the head after the match. Mr. Cena, I don't know what you do for a living. You probably live off of your son like a bum. I, on the other hand, am a professional wrestler. I'm a WWE superstar. That's what I do. Competing in the ring is my livelihood. It's in my blood. It is my life. And you tried to take that away from me. But things are turning around. Things are changing. John Cena, I truly enjoyed beating up your father last Monday on Raw. I enjoyed the look on your face as you were handcuffed to the ring while I annihilated your old man. You were helpless. You better get used to that feeling, Cena. Because at no mercy, there's nowhere to run. It's a last man standing match. Anything goes. There is nothing that's gonna stop me from beating you senseless and taking what's rightfully mine. The WWE Championship. So Cena, here's what I want you to do. I want you to bring your old man to Raw next week. Because I want him to see exactly what I'm gonna do to you at no mercy. Seen, I will not be denied. I will be victorious. I will be champion. I will be the last man standing. And we're back here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, of course, uh, Randy Orton joining us again live tonight via satellite, this time from Chicago. And Randy, I'm sure that the fans, as are we, are wondering uh, exactly why you're not here in the arena. Uh, especially considering that this Sunday you'll face John Cena in a last man standing match for John Cena's WWE Championship. Question is, why aren't you here? I personally elected not to be in Cleveland tonight because I'm waiting here in Chicago for John Cena. I'm not about to show up on Raw with John Cena in his current state of mind. John Cena hasn't been the same mentally since I beat up his old man. In fact, I enjoyed what I did so much that I would love to see that footage again. Well. Enough, JR. I did what I did for a reason. That unforgiven Mr. Cena wanted to get involved in my match, so I got involved with Mr. Cena. Mr. Cena wasn't standing two weeks ago, just like John Cena won't be standing this Sunday. Like father, like son. I bet you'd love to get your hands on me, wouldn't you, Cena? Well, too bad. It's not to my advantage to show up there tonight. That's why I'm waiting for you right here in Chicago. So tell me, Cena. How's your head? Do you have your strategy all set? Remember, this is a last man standing match, so anything goes. And I will do whatever it takes to get that WWE title around my waist. So the next time people see Randy Orton on Raw, I am going to be the new WWE Champion. All right, uh... Oh, that came out of nowhere! John Cena wins! Hey, look at this! What the hell? I thought Orton was in Chicago! Or just RKO Cena! Who is obsessed about becoming the next 
WWE Champion, my to us all. Can't believe what we're seeing here. Randy Orton, he's dressed to compete. Orton's in combat attire. Cena has won his main event here tonight. Orton is like a caged animal king. He's going to steal steps. He's going to do something to those steps to Cena. Orton is showing Cena no mercy. Watch it, watch it. My God. No damage. The sword. Orton just hit Cena between the eyes. Come on, man. Steal steps. Relentless. Come on. Orton has a place over a look in his eye of a, of a man possessed. What are you doing, Randy? Come on, Randy. Randy, get a hold of yourself. That is enough. You've done enough. God Almighty. What's wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you, Randy? Look out, look out, look out! Gosh, almighty! Come on! Come on! You gotta stop that! You gotta tear his head off! Good Lord! Get him out of here, Rip! Can you get some more officials out here? Randy, don't do this! Oh, I love it, God! Oh, don't do Come it! Come on, Randy! You can't do this! Come on! You're gonna, you're gonna maim him! Stop him! Randy, come on! Cena's helpless! Look out! God sakes! My God almighty! Cena's head smashed! The table didn't break! Cena's face smashing the table! That's gone, you've done enough damage! Come on, Orton! One! Come on, Orton! Two! show their respect just like each and every one of you right now you're going to show you're going to show your respect to the new WWE champion Randy Orton hey. Hey. you know Pete we heard from John Cena earlier tonight and you got to wonder how they Convalescing John Cena to be out quite frankly for up to a year. He feels right now being stripped for the championship because of an injury. And all the last 24 hours, Orton being awarded the title. As we came on the air last night, Triple H goading Mr. McMahon into a match with Orton for the championship. First match on No Mercy, Orton loses. But by the end of the night, after Triple H had wrestled three championship matches, Orton is exactly as we see him, the WWE Champion for the first time in his career. A 
the second time, JR. He was the world champion the first time okay, at SummerSlam. The youngest world champion. The WWE champion, Randy Orton. Randy, let me be. Let me have the honor of being the very first one to shake your hand. Congratulations. Wow. Thank you, Mr. McMahon. As I stand in this ring, I can tell you that there is one absolute truth. Nobody deserves to be WWE Champion as much as me. Nobody has represented the WWE that has such God-given talent. I have the perfect combination of size, speed, strength, and skill. As I look up on stage, I see a lot of jealous faces. A lot of despair. Because you realize Because you realize that this one-man dynasty has only just begun. And I will be WWE Champion for a long, long time.